I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Today, I want to show you two new gadgets from Furious FPV that solve a couple problems that we all have with FPV, including the hardest problem to solve in all of FPV, how to put a power button on your Fat Shark goggle. <laughs> Stay tuned. Before we get into the video, I want to take one second and head off the question that y'all are going to fill the comments up with, and it's, who made this awesome shirt that I'm wearing? Yeah. <laughs> the shirt is made by Supertech. That's who did the graphics, and it was commissioned by my friend Bob Davis, who also goes by Peckerwood FPV. You've seen him in a couple of my videos. It is uh, his signature shirt commemorating a particularly awesome day of flying, and uh, you might even be able to buy it. I'll... I'll ask him if he's got a purchase link or somewhere. Maybe he just got a couple for himself. I don't know. But now that you, I've answered the most important question, let's get on to these products from Furious. And the first thing I want to look at is this. What is it? This is the Furious FPV Smart Battery Case. And I want to apologize. I want to apologize because this is a 3D printed prototype that I was sent. I don't have the actual injection molded nice plastic one so i'm gonna put a picture of it from a product shot up because this really doesn't reflect the final quality but i think when you see what this is you're gonna be excited so as you could tell it's an 18650 battery case you buy these 18650 lithium-ion cells and uh, you stick them in there and then you use them to power well your fat shark goggles or uh, the thing that i'm going to show you in a second uh, but it's more than just i mean you can get a fat shark 18650 battery case for 15 bucks roughly and it does the same thing but not quite so if i just push this button uh the screen pops on and nothing really happens it's not actually on yet if i were to plug something in it wouldn't get any power in order to turn it on you have to actually press this button and then hold it down and then it turns itself on and you can see here it's got a nice readout the readout shows your call sign i guess if you you want to know which battery is yours it shows the battery voltage and it's got a little fuel meter that should, currently it's fully charged and it's got also the number of milliamp hours run so if i hook something up to this it'll show how many milliamp hours i'm getting out of it that's kind of nice for knowing the health of your batteries you know how many milliamp hours before they finally die and need to be recharged uh, but the real magic of this battery comes out when we look at the settings oh and by the way did you see i just pressed and held the button to turn it off so you can leave this plugged into your goggles if you want to, and you can just boop, turn it on, turn your goggles off. Here is the on-off switch that so many people have been asking for. So that is the Furious FPV smart battery case. It's about 30 bucks, which is about twice as much as the Fat Shark 18650 case, but it's got a little bit more smarts built in. Uh, a real voltage readout, a current readout. I tell you what, I use the current readout on this thing. How much current does your Fat Shark goggle pull? Well, if you have one of these, you could find out. Just plug it in and read the current readout. That's nice for nerds like me who like data. Um, it's even got a proper balance plug. So if you wanted to, you could balance charge your batteries inside here without ever taking them out. No comment on whether that's a good or bad idea. But there's a little more going on here because you can see this has a mounting screw here and there as if it was part of intended to be part of a coherent system and in fact it is the furious fpv smart case is designed to go with this little guy and in fact they're also magnetic that's kind of cool and this is the furious fpv dock king the dock king essentially turns any fat shark module including well of course the furious fpv true d into why what are we doing here Uh, the Furious FPV Dock King turns any Fat Shark module, well, including the Trudy, of course, into a ground station. You can see it just plugs in here as if it were a, uh, a Fat Shark goggle. So we'll turn this on. And here is, you can see on the screen here, it's got a little screen that it shows. And you can, you can use the same controls here on the front of the module to do all the things you normally do, but that's kind of missing the point of the Dot King. It does work, but it's not what it's all about. Because see, here on the back of the Dot King, there's a joystick, and it is used to access the Dot King menus. 
So if I push to the right, I get to saved channels and I can pick one of these previously saved channels. And you can see that as I do it, I can see the RSSI here. So I can see I've got RSSI on R7. And so I'll skip to R7 and of course it'll come right in. And here we've got a signal indicator, an RSSI indicator. The RSSI is not great right now because I don't, I don't know why it's not great. It should be a little better than that. Maybe we're only at 25 milliwatts, but anyway. Now pressing any direction on the joystick takes you to the previously saved channels, but you can also click the joystick one time to go into a menu. And it's kind of like being in the True D menu, but uh, you got a couple extra things there. So here I can select save channels. I can select all channels. That look familiar to you? Yeah. Here I can enter race mode and in race mode, I only have four channel set. This might be useful if you are, well, if you're using this channel set, it allows you to quickly switch between these four channels. Search. Looks, again, looks familiar if you've ever used a True D. This is just a uh, channel scan. Band scanner. And the things you're seeing here are very similar to the things you see on the screen of the module, but remember, they're happening inside your goggles. This is all happening. This what you're seeing here is what you see in your goggles. So you never have to take your goggles off. Just fiddle with this joystick. Lap timer actually implements a VTX-based lap timer, where uh, it will when it'll detect when the signal strength peaks on the channel and goes down and show you your laps. I find it a little hard to believe that this is going to be as accurate as something like a dedicated lap timer like those made by Team Black Sheep or Immersion RC, but if you're just sitting somewhere practicing on your own, it's probably good enough to tell you if you're getting faster or slower. Maybe I'll make a separate video where I test that out. DVR. Now, I want you to see at the top here, there's two uh, additional outputs. Now these are for future peripherals that as far as I know are not for sale. One is an HDMI output that'll actually convert your analog signal to HDMI. This is, I'm super excited about this because actually being able to record that HDMI output is going to be really nice for things like testing cameras. Uh, it's really hard to get a decent analog video input for a computer. Um, you could use this to output, of course, to a television. More and more televisions only have HDMI. They don't have the older style analog outputs. And this is for a DVR, and this is a, a DVR that will sort of stack on top of here and go, and it's a DVR and screen together. That'll integrate in there. Now, the other claim that's been made about the Dock King is that the Dock King improves the signal. And I've done some testing of Dock King versus other modules like LaForge and Rapid Fire and Cross uh, Clearview, and also versus just regular Trudy in a set of goggles. And I cannot, here's what I'll say. In the tests that I've done, I think that the Dot King has looked slightly worse than the regular True D. But we can't necessarily chalk that up to the Dot King. Other people have released tests that seem to show the Dot King doing better. Hold on. And we have to acknowledge that there are other factors that may be at play, such as there may be something up with this module. I haven't tested other modules. So I'm going to leave that, I'm going to tentatively leave that as yet to be determined whether it improves the signal or not. But if you're thinking about getting a ground station and you're not sure which ground station to get, uh, maybe the answer is to get the Furious FPV Dock King. Um, you can just take your existing Fat Shark module, you can take it right out of your goggles, or if you have a spare one sitting around, pop it in here, and now you've got a ground station. No more losing your signal when you move your head around, as so many of us do when we're under the hood. It adds functionality that your existing module may not have, most notably the on-screen OSD with RSSI readout, with, with uh, channel number. Oh, you can even just change channels and stuff while you're under the goggles without ever lifting them up. So that is the Furious FPV Dock King and Smart Battery Case. Links in the video description to both of these. Let me know what you think of them. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.